Hey everybody, Rich R. Immortal Diag and today we're having a look at a Scenic 3 and we've got a handbrake fault. I'm part of the way through this one but I'll just show you what I've done. Right, so the handbrake was coming on and off, you could hear it but only on the driver's side. I've got a code here for left hand caliper actuator to be honest when I come to this I thought it was just going to be a clutch switch issue but it's not um, so what I've done is if I come round is I have dug out the control unit now pins 29 and 14 there you'll have to ohm them out on your car if you're not sure just to make sure which ones are which but that's the left hand motor for me which is <coughs> down here so quite knew you tested it they were intact so we want to load test it because there's a big motor on the back of the caliper there nice shiny new one on it <coughs> so what we did is I just used the jump pack cut the wires and I jumped it up to here on those wires and put it through onto a test bulb lit up lovely the wiring's good Right, what I've done from there is pin 13 here, should be a, a live, which it is, and 15 should be another big live, uh -uh, which it isn't. So, what I've done is I came back to the front here with my crappy other little multimeter. <coughs> what I did was this 30 amp fuse here <coughs> in slot 9 um, I had to put a different fuse in so I could just check either side of it <coughs> and we got 12 volts there, 12 volts there or battery voltage there so the fuse is good so had a look up see where the wiring goes and that comes down through here and look at that black connector there I reckon that's going to be the boy so I'm going to get that out and we'll see how badly corroded it is. There we go. <coughs> Look at that beauty. Absolutely horrible. So, I don't know if I can put it back together quickly. There we go. We have changed the voltage there. What I'm going to do is I am probably going to cut these wires, join them up, and then see if we get our voltage back. Right, so done away with the plug, uh, wherever I threw it, somewhere over there, there it is. Joined it together, heat shrink, weatherproofing, all the rest of it, taped it up nicely, put that back in a minute. As you can see, we now have 12 volts on that one. 12 on that one so we should be good to go right so I thought this is probably the easiest way we can see we got voltage on both sides and both sides do come on and off now and you can hear that so that one's all done and dusted so um, all good for that wiring repair down in that passenger footwell thanks for watching coming on for the next one